Welcome back everyone to CK2 Plus as Empress Constance of Francia. And I thought I could just easily go forward and actually skip some time forward, but that's not the case. Because the Pope is upset with our law of free investiture. The Holy Father is asking us to change it to comply with the church doctrine, and I think we will not. Like, we are, we are cynical. Um, so we, we are disliked by the clergy, but I think we also dislike the clergy as well. When our grandfather ate our children, the Pope would not excommunicate this man. And so I think we're done with the church. And now they're asking us to go for hat investiture and we will decline. We are an empress. We will not listen to some frickin' Pope man. Uh, especially because the Pope is a puppet of the Holy Roman Emperor. And I think we will try and go to war. So, I rule in my realm. Uh, this is a pretty interesting development because being excommunicated does not make us particularly well-liked by our vassals. But, um, yeah, there's not much we can do. Uh, I still kind of want to wait for our war chest to finish. Um, we gained some piety. Loyal subjects show a devotion. We have decided to host a grand banquet in, in the honor of our rule. That's very nice. And, yes, an emissary from the Holy Father has come to our court, announced that we are an anathema to everything that is holy. We have been excommunicated. Well, we already knew that. Um, this does actually cause some problems. I do wonder if we can go for uh, an alliance here. We cannot. Um, okay, husband, come on. Don't be like that. We'll give you... Do I want to give you 200 gold? No, I don't actually want to. You want to be my vassal? No, you're a king. Of course you are. Um, yeah, here's the thing. We'll wait for our... We'll wait for our... Mm, war chest to be built. Um, I don't know how many men I can actually raise right now, but it seems like quite a few. And... Yeah, that's 90,000 men. And we are, of course, lunatic now. Okay, yep, yep, sure, sure, why not? Um, Alright, this is actually getting problematic now. Um, and we have a Bulgarian liberation role. Okay, 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 yes, um, I understand. Hold on. Um, let's raise a few men. Don't know if this is gonna... Uh, this is not at all enough. Ugh, shit. Okay, this is not gonna help much. 1,500 men. We need some more. We can raise men from our friend, and I think we will, um, to help him, or to have him help us put down this rebellion uh, here in Bulgaria, and then we will, we will see if we can maybe declare war on the Holy Roman Empire. I'm still kind of upset that there doesn't seem to be a way to... Ah, uh, this guy is kind of annoying. Raymond Toulouse, Duke of Kent. Hmm. Um, that there seems to be no way for us, oh shoot, to attack the Pope. And now the tradition faction is is at, at odds with us. Okay, we kind of got to do something about that. Um, how do I improve relations with the tradition faction? Um, I could. What is your issue? Female ruler, two million hill duchies, wants control of the, of, hmm, yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and do that, transfer vassalage here, there you go, that should make him happy, and that should improve the mood of the tradition faction, um, and we could call in, ah, right, we still have our tributaries, yeah, that's interesting, one of my, Oh yeah, she's shit. You can take her, please. I don't want her. Uh, still waiting on our ships to arrive before we can crush this rebellion. Uh, Siege the Rostrum. Uh, that's fine. 17,000 men. Who am I going to have? Uh, Duke of Sevilla. Sure, you'll lead this. Duke of Norfolk and Lancaster will follow. 17,000 men. This should go without issue. Let's retake this fortress um, and crush these rebels. This will be over quickly. Yeah, no problem there. Awesome. And that is actually not over, surprisingly. Hmm. 
I wonder where he's going. I hope he's not going too far. Because that's kind of going to be frustrating. Uh, I don't know why I have so many freaking courtiers. And why I am actually the one educating them. Can you not have a proper fighter teach you? Hmm. Whatever. We do need a new chancellor. And for that position, I am going to pick the Duke of Bourbon. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. And he loves us. So, there you go. We will... Let's see. There's probably some vassal that's really important to us that we need to improve relations with. Duke of Kent, for example. Uh, yeah, we don't seem to be on good terms with uh, a lot of the English nobility. And also the... Okay, the elector titles are not good to have. Maybe we can give up the... Mm. You know what? Can I make you anti-pope? Let me, let me see if that's possible. No. Hmm. I don't know why that doesn't work. Hmm. I can appoint successor. Why is this not? Okay. He likes the Pope more than us. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. So if... Ah, okay. So if this guy... Increasing his opinion by four. That's not a whole lot. Why does he dislike us? Lunatic of vicious rumors. Excommunicated... Hmm, too many health duchies. I see. So this Pope is pretty well liked. Which seems to be the problem. Why do they like him 99? Holy shit. Anyone who doesn't like him... Yeah, so our best bet would be this guy. Bishop Renard. Mm, I can make him a high almoner, which is one thing. Send him some gift, but that doesn't really do much. What does he hold? Ah, okay. I I need I need a different pope. We will we will now have to freaking fight the this guy. Okay. Uh, that's not gonna go well. Lift excommunication? Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, well, here's the thing. There's still many titles we need to give out. Court Educator. Someone who actually knows what they're doing. Stephanie. Sure. Court Physician. Stephanie. Okay, it's not really much choice. You are an advisor. Keep of the swans. I'd rather give this to the Duke of Anjou, actually. Just to spread the titles. And a cupbearer needs to be someone I trust. Mm -hmm. Duke of Auvergne. There you go. Okay, that seems fine. Any better commanders? Cool. Yeah, and we'll, we'll crush this rebellion. Call for the court physician, please. Yeah, don't have our son die. That would be... Ah, oh, shit. Well, okay. Dying of pneumonia. That was... Interesting. We've now built a war chest. Um, assemble a great council. Change a province culture. Earn a nickname. I think that's something we would like to do, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll earn a nickname. And... Yeah. Okay. So our son has died. So who's going to inherit Croatia? Some Lord Igor. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. But that's, I guess, not really a huge issue. Okay, there's 4,000 men. Can we catch them? Yes, we can. Let's destroy them. Uh, this is going to be relatively decisive. More people are outraged. Hmm. Let it be. Okay, that ended this war. I'm glad it did. Let's finish this. The Sixth Liberation Revolt. And now we can... Are you kidding me? That's interesting. 
I think we'll uh, we'll be uh, Queen of Bulgaria as well, because why not? Because why not? And let's appoint the same person. And I wonder if we now have even more elected titles held. Too many held duchies. Yeah, so we have apparently three elector titles. Duchy of Fez can be built or can be created. Um, don't really see the point. I mean, sure. And uh, there you go. Make you Duke of Fez. Enjoy. Okay. There's not really a, there was not really a reason to do that, to be honest. But I did it anyway. Okay, you guys move over here. F. We'll go for less violent way. Even though... You know what? Actually, probably shouldn't have done that. Should have gone for something more violent. Because they've rebelled six times. Maybe now they will accept me as their queen. It's hard to say. But we are, you know, we are kind of insane now. Uh, I think this guy is going to have some, some issues. So, declare war. Restoring the papacy. Oh, it does not work. I need my anti-pope. We're getting somewhat close. Anything I can do. Ooh. So sending a gift is now worth a lot more. And... Oh, we're so close. We're so close. So how do I get this last... Giving him an artifact might do that. A noble scepter. A magnificent painting. Hand of a saint. You know what? I will give him the hand of a saint. Or finger of Saint John. I'll give him the hand of a saint. That will strengthen his legitimacy as a pope. And we will make Bishop Renard our anti-pope. There you freaking go. We've got our anti-pope. Pope, pope Col Colestinus III. So, that means we're no longer excommunicated, and I don't know why I'm suzerain over counts, but it doesn't freaking matter. I wonder if I can declare war on the Holy Roman Emperor now. E yes. No. What? Come on. Oh, claim the Papal State. Yes. I think that's what we will do. We will claim the Papal We will freaking go there and kill the Pope. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the son of Lucifer right here, and the Pope is not doing anything against him, but excommunicating us. I think the time has come. We'll call our allies, we'll call, uh, our tributaries, as, I mean, I don't know why we have several of them, but this queen, who's actually not yet crowned, and she's of a different house. It's interesting. She seems to have... Oh, yeah, look at this. Brittany seems to have lost control over Northern Wales. Or maybe they've never had this? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. But uh, this dude will be... Yeah, called as well. And I believe... We'll call upon our vassals. Holy freaking shit. Yes. Yep. That's, that's right. That's right. Now, um... I have you guys move here. In fact, all of you. Actually, there's some really good support here, which I like. And we'll, we'll raise ships from you guys. That's probably going to be enough, but I'll raise a few more. Because why not? And that's going to be one army. You have some ships, too? Yeah, perfect. Splendid. Uh, we'll get you all here. So this is going to be one army. Then you guys in Bulgaria... I don't really know if I need you. How many men does the Holy Roman Emperor have? He's got 30,000 men. Uh, bit of a crusader. 
Yeah, we're going to deal with him. I think we'll stand down these guys, because that's kind of more of a hassle uh, than anything else. And I think I will let... Ah, that's 9,000 men. Okay, you guys go to Essex. Uh, you can... Yeah, you can combine there. I think we'll have... These troops stand down and raise them here. And then, let's see. Let's get you all together. The Carling army can stand down. You can stay. And that's 30,000 men. That's pretty amazing. I want you to go here. Yeah, and you guys can go together as well. Okay, so, mm, okay, you're no longer participating, that's fine, but Brittany has joined in, and we could technically call in these counts. Yeah, that's kind of weird, I don't know why these counts are my uh, tributaries, it doesn't really m make much sense, but whatever. Uh, what's this now? Mm, more qualified, yeah, I do not know, I keep my uh, current champion, thank you. Mm. And we have, oh, look at this. Oh, this is cool. First of all, we gain organizer for all of our commanders. But now, we are known as Empress Constance the Good uh, of Francia. That's cool. Uh, fall in love. Exalted amongst men. Um, Paragon of Virtue. Gains a trait Paragon. Uh, Glory Fraction. Gains a trait Exalted. I think this is... I mean, we're not really ambitious. Hmm. Uh, I think we'll just want to reign for 20 years. I think that's fine. We'll go for that. Uh, it doesn't really do that much for us, but... Also go for it. Okay, no longer lack of ambition. That's nice. And... <laughs> yes. We're sitting on the floor in our bed chamber wearing one of our shoes as a hat, when suddenly a man-sized gopher enters the room. It is dressed as a maid, and when you shout an alarm, the rodent squeaks and skitters away in panic. You chase it down the hall, but find only a terrified maid cowering on the floor. Yep. We are insane, which is fine, but we're still gonna kill the Pope, uh, for sure. Okay, we've got 22,000 men. Uh, we'll get... We'll have this... The Duke of Norfolk is gonna have control of this army. As well as Lord of Brienne. And I think the mayor of... Actually, the Duke of Aquitaine, our friend. And we'll have them march straight to Rome. And the rest of our forces will assemble. And... Damn, I mean, we've got more troops down here. Uh, the rest of our troops will assemble and will march on the Holy Roman capital. At least that's kind of the plan. Okay. Yeah, you assemble in Bourbon, um, you can do whatever. What's this? Seek treatment for the illness. Oh, we still have the great pox. I'd rather not die right now. Know what you're doing, please. Don't just kill me. And we actually feel better. All right, well, that's good then. Okay, so. Um, fine, whatever. But uh, we can imprison someone. I don't really care. 26,000 men. We will give them... Duke of Sevilla. Yeah, I kind of need you right now for my own war. What are you doing? Shrewsbury. No. No Shrewsbury fighting. Toulouse. Macon. No. Wait. Uh, you should be... Oh, come on. Do we have to fight your own war right now? Ah, uh, that's frustrating. I need you right now to fight this war for me. But, hmm. Yeah, well. We don't have any other commanders. Essex. How about you're not in Essex? And we'll move to your capital. I don't really care. We've got two armies of 20,000 men. And then, well, we've got more here. 12,000. And I don't think we need all of these ships. In fact, I think these ships can be sent to Essex to pick up more troops. And the rest will combine and pick up 
this army of 12,000 men. We're going to send them to Rome as well. It's just going to be an absolute massacre. Rome is going to get sacked so quickly, they won't even know what's coming. But uh, that, unfortunately, has to happen next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I think that um, our Empress Constance had quite a development. Um, and we'll see how it goes uh, Yeah, next episode. Um, so yeah, I'll be there.